hold it. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Pray them niggas go. What is up guys today i'm going to show you how to put 3d text into your smooth like the video showed earlier that smooth so if you didn't check that out go ahead and check that out but you're going to open up adobe after effects it can be cc mine cc 2017 it can be cs6 you know anything it can be any uh, after effects open it up once it's open up go ahead and just x out of that right there you want to maximize and go to file import file you want to scroll down to the smooth you want to use so i'm going to use the one from last time which is this one, you're gonna import it. And then you have your little project bar. It might be on render queue when you open it up, it'll look like this. If it looks something like this, click this none thing, that's your project. Then you're gonna drag it down onto your project. And so as you scroll through, you can see there's your video. And so my video actually I recorded, I only want this little bit right here. This is the actual smooth. All of this junk is just useless. So I'm gonna take this edge right here and I'm gonna drag it where do I want to start? I want to start right about here. So that's where I'm going to drag this to. Then I want to end right about here. So I'm going to drag it to here. And then I'm going to right click this area and click trim comp to work area, which deletes everything but that selection. So right now you just have this. It's a smooth like that. And over on your bar over here, there's a bunch of random stuff. You're going to go to tracker and then you're going to click track camera and it's going to do this analyzing in background and you should see over here where it says initializing it'll start to give you percentage in a second so i'm just going to skip through this it'll take depending on the length of the smooth probably about two minutes so i'm going to just skip to the end all right so that didn't even take that long that was like 40 seconds i skipped it anyways so then you're going to get something like this they're going to be a bunch of dots everywhere it's going to look really weird so sorry so if i want like i have to pick an area where i want my text to go so i'm going to pick this area at the doorway right here like on the clip at the beginning and i'm going to just these dots are little points and i drag on them i can either click one of them and pick one dot or i can drag on multiple to make like a it's a little more accurate so once you have this it's targeted you want to right click it and you want to click create solid and camera so pretty much what that does is it puts a solid right there and it gives it a location. So as we scroll through, it's going to stay there no matter what. You see? So now what you want to do is you can go ahead and make it so you can't see this because otherwise it'll just be a color. You don't really need to even look at that, the solid. Then you want to go to this text right here. And then you want to click on the screen and you want to type in something you want. So in a clip earlier, it said Stevie presents. I'm just going to make this one test. You want to highlight, actually you don't even have to, you don't have to highlight it. You want to go down to it in the little project bar right here. And you want to click on this. You want to check this little box, this 3d layer that makes it three dimensional. And so once it's like that, all right, my computer's a little slow right now just because I'm recording as well. But once it's three dimensional, what you wanna do is you wanna open up the drop down bar for this uh, text and then go to transform. And you wanna do the same for the track solid that you made. And you wanna open transform as well. Now I'm gonna scroll this up a little bit. Scoot that over a little bit. So as you can see for both of them, it has position right here, position. So this is our track solid and that's where we picked where we want our text to go. So this is the right position, these three coordinates, X, Y, Z. So I want to click on X, control C for copy, and then I want to paste it for position of X up here. I want to copy Y, paste, or copy, paste, Z, copy, paste, and click enter. And as you can see, it puts our text, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. Make this smaller a little bit. But as you can see, it put our text right there. The only problem is it's facing the wrong direction and it's way too small. So we're going to go to scale also in transform and just click on it, hold down and drag to the right to make it bigger. You know, that looks about good. 
but right now it's facing the wrong way so we want to use these rotations and you just got to mess around with this like i don't even know how this works still um but you want to use these rotations to kind of pick where you want it to go like i want it facing this way and if it's too far off to the side like this one is don't grab the text and move it around like don't use the grabbing tool and grab it or don't use the regular tool and just grab it what you have to do is you have to actually go to this little cone at the end of these points and use that to drag it and that'll keep it kind of three-dimensionally in place so to speak so once you have it there you can go ahead and just minimize that and you want to go up here to uh, if you want it three-dimensional you want to go up here to renderer and you want this to be ray traced or cinema 4d you don't want it classic it's going to default to classic you want it ray traced or cinema 4d you want to click ok then you want to go back open this up <coughs> go to geometry options and then you want to go to extrusion depth and put it i don't know five maybe ten if you want ten and then right now just kind of perfect how it looks you know make it a little bit bigger because this is a little too small you can rotate it a little bit because i still don't like exactly where that is maybe mm, not like that i'm doing the same thing like that something like that i don't know that'll work <coughs> maybe drag it up a little bit so once you kind of like scroll through and see that you like how it looks um and actually a problem with white is that when you're at an angle they overlap and you can't really read what it says so that's what shadowing's for if you want a tutorial on that leave it and uh i think i already said that but leave it in the description or leave it in the comments um and once you like how it looks you can preview it down here um or you can just kind of scroll through and manually say you know that kind of looks decent i'll work with that go ahead and go to file export add to render queue pick your settings avi mp4 whatever you want um, pick your output location. You can pick your quality in here as well, like how clear you want it to be and stuff. And then click render and it's going to render it out. It'll usually take, depending on the speed of the computer, mine takes about a minute. It'll probably take, you know, if you have an insane computer, 30 seconds to, you know, five, maybe even 10 minutes if you have a really slow computer. Um, then you want to go to your location. You can open it up. You can play it through. And that's about it. So if you have any questions, definitely leave it in the section, in the comment section below. Um, I really want you guys to, I, I breezed through this. I wanted to make it as brief as possible. If you want me to make a individual, you know, three to five minute video on anything I talked about, on any of the settings, anything in After Effects, um, on the smooth, anything like that, please ask me and I will. Um, this was just, you know, real quick. How do you do it? And that's it. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Definitely subscribe and I will see y'all later. Take a, take a body call, take a body's heart.